folks, if you have a notebook, notebooks and paper, get them out. I'm going to give you an acronym. It's called START, S-T-A-R-T, and write that down the side of the piece of paper. I've been using this methodology for about a decade. Um, start. Let's start with the S. The S is whatever is your strategy is or your story. And in your particular case, if you're doing search engine marketing, the story is what's going on in the person's head because there's really only four different stories in the marketplace at any given time. There's your product story. There's your customer story. They have their own thing going on. There's your story as the marketeer. And then there's the market itself that's holding these, this story together. There's four different stories. You may also call that strategy. But the T starts for strategy or story. In your particular case in search engine marketing, your story starts with the keyword. Every keyword has particular stories tied to it. Is it exact match? Is it phrase match? Is it a long tail? Is it a buying keyword? Is it an observation keyword? Notice a keyword in and of itself has things attached to it, and those are stories. Define those first. Write those out, and you'll be amazed as, hey, my goodness, that keyword actually has a little bit of, of weight to it. The next piece going down the page is the T. T can stand for a couple of things. Typically, what I'm dealing with is tactics, or more simply said, things to do. In search engine marketing, I want you to write out everything that needs to be done. Keyword research, figuring out whether you're going to use phrase match or exact match, writing the ad, writing the landing page, actually setting up the autoresponder to the landing page to capture the lead. All these things need to happen. I want you to get out in the T section rattle everything that needs to be done. Those are your to-dos. And here's where it gets tricky. In search marketing, there's 10 million things that need to be done, and if you miss one of them, it doesn't work. So when you write down that list, you have to be willing, you have to find out what you are willing to do and what you're not willing to do. Because those things that you're not willing to do won't get done, and guess what? That's gonna jam up your business, all right? So that's a long list. Now the A in start, which is now below the T, is action. You actually have to do something with the to-do list, which is above, and those are the actions that are taken. Once you've gotten through the action phase, then you're gonna look at the results, meaning, did you get a good click-through rate? Did traffic show up? Did people actually give you their name and email address? Did they download anything? That's the result after the action. But notice, a lot of times people will get this story in their head, and for some reason, magically think this thing just actually happened. Nothing happened until you actually do something. You get the result, and then finally, you track and test over time. That's the last T. Again, tracking means you have to put the code there so you can see what's happening. You want to test to make sure that it's actually working better and better every time, over time, which means you gotta go back up to that to-do list and do the whole thing over and over again until you're done with the loop until you're into a different story. Now, I apply that for search marketing because as you can see, you can apply that for search marketing because a lot of times we get into the to-do section of it and we miss a step and then we don't ever come back to it. That's why it's so important for you to keep it really tight. What's the story? What are the tactics that need to be handled? What are the actions that need to be taken? What are the results? And then how am I gonna optimize those results to get better results over time? So that's, that's my methodology, and I've used it for now 10 years. 